Hi, Pioneers. Hey, Pioneers. Uh, the core team here to give you an update on the in-app transfer pilot. Over the last three months, a group of around 300 Pioneers have been participating in our pilot for in-app transfer. The purpose of the in-app transfer pilot is to help us bootstrap Pi's peer-to-peer -peer economy. First, we, the pilot should help us identify what pioneers are willing to offer in exchange for Pi, as well as what pioneers want to buy with Pi. Now, understanding the supply and demand for goods and services in our economy is a key step to building a healthy market for Pi. And in addition to building the market, the pilot is also designed to help us understand what could go wrong. That way, we can avoid potential abuses of Pi and our community in the future. Pi members were selected based on community recommendations as well as their previous contributions to Pi ecosystem. To prevent Pi mined by bots and bad actors from transferring to real pioneers, we require members of the pilot to perform identity verification, also known as the KYC. Additionally, the terms of the pilot forbade any transactions that involve the fiat currency, such as selling Pi for dollars. Now, as expected, the pilot has shown both very promising and some challenging signs. On the promising side of things, uh, there have been transactions that show that pioneers have a lot of very interesting goods and services to offer for Pi. So for one example, um, there's a pioneer in our community who's a beekeeper, and he sold this collection of honey to another pioneer for 18 Pi, including shipping. Uh, another transaction, a uh, pioneer traded this digital camera for about 65 Pi. Um, also, we had one pioneer trade these uh, you know, special edition Nike Jordans uh, for an undisclosed amount of Pi. Uh, and finally, another pioneer traded a children's scooter uh, for about 3.5 Pi. So there are many more transactions that are lacking images such as Pi for children's diapers, for oil, batteries, and automotive parts. These were only a few of the transactions that were conducted as part of the pilot. However, there were also many abuses of the in-app transfer. Although all fiat transactions were expressly prohibited by the terms of service, we received many reports of pioneers attempting to sell the currency or take advantage of other people. For example, some accounts uh, made thousands of small transfers of Pi just within a couple days. And these transactions don't seem to be linked to any types of real goods and services and are indicative of a, an attempted sale. Um, one other example of a sale of Pi is this um, example here, which shows uh, folks trying to sell Pi being distributed on a schedule. We even report, received reports of people claiming that they were partially fundraising for charitable causes while in essence selling pie. And there's no verification that the portion of the funds intended for donation were actually delivered uh, to those causes. All of these reports ultimately fuel additional bad behavior when organizations and institutions can then claim that they have pie to sell, um, such as in these unauthorized offerings of Pi. Uh, as you can see in this example, there's a you know, apparent trade between Pi Network and USDT. Um, and in this second example, there's a, some kind of group buying scheme of Pi, right, with a 20% discount, all of which are completely unauthorized sales. Yeah, this type of uh, behavior provide no help in establishing a healthy Pi ecosystem or building a foundation for Pi's economy. Instead, they endanger and the existing and future pioneers with uh, potential losses of money and the project as a whole by tarnishing our reputation. In conclusion, we have learned two major lessons from in-app transfer pilots so far. First, enabling people to transfer Pi should be paired with a healthy ways to spend the currency and drive demand for Pi. Second, the Pi ecosystem needs a systematic approach or platform to support applications that scale the type of healthy transactions listed by uh, Vince just now and address the logistic headaches that arise when trying to transact with pioneers all over the world or generally people all over the world. That concludes our update for today. What do you think of these findings and assessments? Please let us know by tapping below to join the topic. We look forward to your input. See ya. Bye-bye.